right before I went live, like the La Bamba song popped into my head. Remember that? Like la 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 bamba. For for some reason that popped into my head. I really don't understand it. Where that came from, kind of weird, kind of strange, but just telling you, you know, hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. After 22 years in the auto industry, I started to identify the fact that most of us have the same problems. Employee retention is always an issue, scaling our volume, overall profitability, and ultimately the dealership culture. Those can be very challenging areas of our dealerships. The biggest problem with our industry though is not that we don't know what our problems are. The problem is we don't know where to get the solutions so that we can push through, so that we can break through and continue to level up in our dealerships, in our communities, and ultimately the impact that we can have with our businesses. The reason for that is most people that are highly successful in the car business, they stay. They don't want to tell you. They keep the secrets. You know it and I know it. But that's why I created 800% Club. It's a group of dealers, owners, and general managers that come together every week virtually. We come together for an hour and we share the best practices, the strategies that it really takes to build a winning dealership. And trust me, I know former general manager of the second largest used car franchise dealership in the country. We grew the dealership 800% in just over five years from 120 cars a month to ultimately selling a thousand. I want to be able to share those ideas and strategies with you in a group with 19 other dealers that are going to help you take it to the next level. Make sure you click the link, join 800% club now, and let's get this going. All right, so let me guess, you know about hashtag rise and grind. And you've probably heard us say that we like to rise every single day with intention and purpose, evolve into the best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be so that we can go out and make an impact on this planet together. Well, if you haven't heard that, that is our core values here at hashtag rise and grind. That's what we're all about. And to be honest with you, really the key word in that whole thing is together. You see, there's this sentence that I'm sure you've heard, your network is your net worth, but there's so much truth to it. When you get around other like-minded individuals that are pushing and growing to become the best versions of themselves that they can possibly be, it's life-changing. So just imagine what it would look like for you if you were surrounded by people that were constantly encouraging you, that were helping you to achieve your goals, that were answering your questions about business, and about faith, and about life. Just imagine what it would look like to have that core circle of people that were cheering for you and rooting for you in your corner. That's what we've created with Hashtag Rise and Grind Elite. We're gonna get together every week, two hours a week, so that we can pour into you to help you level up your life. We want you to click below, come join us. It's an awesome, powerful group. It's basically Hashtag Rise and Grind to the next level. It's time for you to take action, invest in yourself, so we can invest in you. Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Wednesday. That's right. Today is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it will ever be Wednesday, August 19th, 2020. Sit on that for a minute. So let's make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. Fair enough? Fair enough. Today is also CMA Day. Carter Myers Automotive Group out there in Virginia, they just added their 16th dealership. And I wanted to share a little bit of something with you this morning when it comes to CMA. Uh, the place is stinking awesome. We've been talking about rebranding this week. And so I wanted to share something that just might inspire you if you're on the edge and thinking about making a move. 
the record, give me a name, position, are you talking I'm Joshua Bursian. I'm a sales manager over at CMA's Valley Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Outstanding. And how long have you been a proud owner here at uh, CMA Valley CCD? I've been a proud owner for about three months. Well, how long have I been in the car industry? A little over four years now. I think it was May of 2016. I thought, you know what? People need cars. I'm a pretty nice guy. They should buy them from me. My journey in the auto industry, uh, it started out, I started selling cars, like pretty much everybody does, and one place everybody starts. And one day, very early in my career, I was walking through the dealership and I saw a service customer, and they stopped me. I used to, when I started, I was coat and tie, always, no matter what, 100 degrees out, coat and tie, didn't matter. The service customer stopped me and said, excuse me, you're the owner, aren't you? And I took that to heart, and I realized you have to treat your place to work like you're the owner. You know, it means picking up trash in the parking lot, greeting everybody, getting people what they need, taking care of people. And, you know, by taking that ownership, I was able to progress pretty quickly, you know, through uh, into an internet manager, to a sales manager, a general sales manager, and, and right up the ranks. But it was, it was from devotion and um, just taking accountability and ownership. You know, why did I come to Stanton, Virginia? From Pennsylvania. Well, I was living outside of Philadelphia and I was unfulfilled. I was familiar with Carter Myers Automotive for a couple of years now. I had met uh, the owners and many of the people that worked here and was just amazed at the sense of ownership, pride, community. And a few months ago, um, they reached out to me and, you know, wanted to know if I was interested in joining the organization. And I knew that this was a once in a lifetime golden opportunity. I had to take it. And uh, I took the leap and it, and it hasn't been easy um, transitioning. It's never easy transitioning, but I love the area. I love the people and um, I've embraced them and I think they've embraced me nicely too. The transition from PA to VA, um, I grew up in, in New York City and lived in Philadelphia and always been in sort of hustle bustle um, city life. It's a little bit slower down here. I am, and I've really enjoyed that. I mean, just the mountains and a little bit more peace, a little, just, it's a little calmer. And I've really, really come to enjoy it and I feel at home. What makes it great to work here? It was instant that people, I mean, as soon as I got here, people were saying, hey, come out to dinner. Can I help you find a place to live? You can stay with me for a while. It, it's like people don't even think about just taking care of each other and it's, so obvious you can see it the way people interact and the way they walk and it's it's the rare thing what advice would i have for somebody joining the team here be ready to work hard be ready to be accountable but be ready for limitless potential for growth and learning and being part of a family be ready what can i add positive to this discussion I got nothing but positivity right now. You know, I mean, look, we get frustrated and all sometimes, but there's such an amazing group of people to lift you up and get you through the day. You know, we, we all stumble, but there's so much light around us. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's humbling. Look, friends, that is my dear friend, Josh. Oh, and he made that move. And I'm super proud of him. And I'm su super thankful for Carter Myers Automotive Group for welcoming him in the way that they have. But that could be you. That could be you. Listen, Josh O has made the move with his wife and his family. Mike and Tina Overfelt have made the move with their family. The uh, Groves, Samantha and Matt Groves made the move with their family. Sean Hayes and Angela Hayes, who doesn't take pictures, they made the move to Carter Myers Automotive Group. Look, man, that could be you. If you're looking to make a move, Right, And maybe it's not Virginia. Maybe you want to go to Tampa, Florida, where I work with dealers down there. 
Maybe you want to move to uh, Kentucky. I've got three amazing dealers right here in Kentucky. You and I can you and I can hang out if you move here to Kentucky. Maybe you want to go to California. I've got dealers over there. Maybe you want to go down to Louisiana, where I've got some great dealers up there. Maybe you want to head up north. You want to go up into the the main um, on the East Coast area. Let me know, dude. Listen, if you're interested in any of that, you're wanting to make a change, just text me. You can text me at 859-208-2351. Just include the, uh, include the word CMA. That way I can sort that and know that you're interested in making a move in your career, man. We're talking about that this week, right? All of those people I just showed you, they decided it was time for a rebrand in their life. They decided that it was time for new opportunities in their life. They decided that it was time for a new environment in their life. And by making those, that decision to make that move, they now are creating something incredible and something new. And to top it all off, they get to work, those that have made the move to Carter Myers Automotive Group, they get to work with this amazing woman, Miss Liza Myers Borches, which if you open your planner today, if you open your hashtag rise and grind planner, you'll see right there at the top, every single day on our planner, there's a quote or a Bible verse at the top that is submitted by someone in the group. These planners are made by you and for you. And so if you open up today's planner, I, I showed the 18th, but if you show, open it up to the 19th, which is what today is, you will see right there at the top, there's a quote contributed by, by Miss Liza Myers Borches herself. And the quote reads like this. Faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. And you see, I love this quote because just the word possible alone is an absolute game changer. Back in the day, there used to be this belief that man could not run a mile in under four minutes. Up to the finishing line. And Five, out came Roger Bannister. And Roger, Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile. Did it in three minutes and 59 seconds. Before that science, everyone, it was said that a human being could not run a mile in under four minutes said it was physically impossible. Roger Bannister does it in 359. He breaks the four minute barrier. It becomes possible. And once it becomes possible for generations and generations to come, there are thousands of people that have broken the four minute barrier. Now, I really appreciate this. My fastest mile, I just started running a few weeks ago. I'm very sore. <laughs> I've been very sore the last couple of days. My fastest mile is eight minutes and 31 seconds. So I truly can appreciate this guy breaking the four minute mile, right? Even when I ride my bike, like I'm like, I'm like a five minute mile on a bike. So running four minute miles is crazy. But once you know that it's possible, once we as human beings learned that it was possible, an entire species shifted, not just mentally, but physically. We shifted from can't be done to now it's done regularly. It's amazing. So when I read this quote this morning, faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. And that word possible, that's the game changer. It's possible for you to change your life. It's possible for you to level up in multiple areas of your life, that if you can focus on those areas, overall, it's going to increase your ability to make an impact. This week, we've been discussing a rebrand for you, right? We've been discussing enhancing your current lifestyle. We've been discussing how do we make it, how do we make it fresh? How do we maybe make some tweaks? Maybe we just have to tweak a little bit here or tweak a little bit there. How do we make sure that our life is being lived with in, like it's inspiring, right? And we're motivated and, and we're innovative. 
And as we've talked about that, we've talked about how your environment plays a crucial role into that. You see, you can control the narrative in your life. So today I'm going to give you seven key life areas that if we can control the narrative in these seven areas, it will ultimately rebrand you, bring back that spark, that vigor, that, inv that invigoration, that motivation, that purposeful, joyful life that I know we all want to live. But before we dive into those seven things, you know what we gotta do around here? We gotta dance. That's right, we gotta dance. There we go. Listen, for those of you that know, and those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right, we got 90 people watching live on Facebook this morning. I'd love to get that up over 100. So tag somebody, hit the share button, let's break through. For those of you that are listening on the podcast, I really appreciate you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and drop it in the comments. Let me know that you were there so I can go back and I can say what's up to you as well. Good morning, Mike Stevens. How are you, sir? Good morning, Gavin. What's up, Gavin? Gavin's back up in here. Gavin Gatehouse. Mike Stevens, seven key areas, elite, yes sir, Cindy Conley Rakovich, how are you, what's up Sarah Ball, Vicki Everett, Alicia Watts, Keith Hamilton's in the house, Julio Soto, great to see you, what's up Houston Turntine, how you doing Rick Tamburino, Beth Lucchese, Tracy Shepard, we got Sean Weatherby in the house, Sienna Carsale, Carsale, I hope I said that right, Sienna Carsale, she's one of our elite members. How you doing, Pam Biddle? What's up, Tina Zimmerman? We got Ray Hatcher in the house. James Gavin is an elite member. Tabby Negret, what's up, Kim Fair? Great to see you. Janelle Griego, Colleen Higgins. We got Brad Smith, Gail B. Craft, Valerie Christine, Heather Fox, also an elite member is in the house. Thanks for the stars, Rodney. Hatfield, my elite friend. What's up, Pam Woosley? Emily Gowler is an elite member. Suzanne Wall, Kelly Taylor, Michael Gazdick. What's up, my man? How you doing, Robert Miglia Migliaccio? We got Amy Bricker. We got Tony Kretz in the house. Brian Edlin, Amante Harvey. What's up, Anita Falker Hill? How you doing, Whitney Wells? Don Sankey, Vicky Everett is in the house. There's Liza, who's out there in the middle of their 10K. Scott Simons, who else is in the 10K? Liza's out there running. What's up, Kenny Brock? Great to see you, sir. Mr. Mike Higdon is in the house. Chris Jessen is in the house. Dana Fishbean, Kristen Hawk Tibbs, Terry Collins, and more up here on hashtag Rise and Grind. Let's dig in. Heather Parody, and I love that quote. I heard it the other day and I was like, ooh, praise. That is so good. If there's something inside of you that you're curious about, that you keep coming back to, that's always popping up in your mind or that you're just drawn towards and you don't know why, it's in you for a reason. It was placed there. And sometimes, man, ooh, we limit ourselves. We're way too realistic. We don't even give ourselves a chance. This idea of rebranding you, sometimes we stop at the door and we're like, no, nope, that's too out of reach. That vision I have of myself, who I could become, that uh, success that I could have, no, no, that can never happen to me. We judge ourselves before we give ourselves a chance. I don't think we dream big enough, my friends. I don't think we push ourselves enough because there's greatness in each and every one of you 
what's so interesting is when we look at these people that are so much better than us, so much more successful than us, they're no different. They just have the courage to step into that brand to say that, you know what, this is possible for me. I might be this, but I'm also this and I can be that, right? So I just wanna encourage you today in this idea of rebranding yourself to start rewriting a new story and put a little imagination into it. What would you try if you knew you could succeed? Who would you become? How would you look physically? What kind of relationships would you have? How much money would you have in your account? What kind of contribution would you have in this world if you didn't limit yourself? If you could let your imagination run a little bit, give yourself permission to dream, what would you think up? And do you have courage? And it is courage. Do you have the courage today to write that down, to envision it, to embody it, and actually believe it, that it could happen for you? We are in your corner. This group is supporting you. Hope you know that. You are loved. And uh, yeah, listen in to what Glenn's about to say because he's about to drop some fire. Fire in your life. Be blessed. Heather has added so much value into my world. I absolutely love Heather Parody. She's going to be doing the show uh, full on tomorrow morning. Make sure you guys get in here and encourage her and lift her up. I'm going to be traveling. I will be on a plane um, tomorrow morning, headed down to Tampa, Florida to spend a little bit of time with the uh, Furman Automotive Group down there, uh, Furman Chevrolet, which is amazing. So Heather is incredible and she's spot on, man. If it's in you, it's in you, right? Like it, it's, it's you, it's a part of you. If you can dream it, right? That dream was given to you specifically by design so that you could act out on that. You simply have to believe that it's possible. That it's possible. Doesn't mean that it's easy like Liza's quote says. Faith alone does not make things easy. It just makes them possible. And knowing that it's possible is half the battle. You see, there's seven key areas in your life, which actually Liza shared uh, this strategy with me a while back. And this is what we've built our hashtag Rise and Grind Elite Mastermind group around is how we're going to attack these seven key areas. If you can rebrand yourself, and sometimes rebranding is just a tweak, right? Just an enhancement. It's already good. We just make it a little bit better, right? I was talking about this with my mom last night. They've got like Fruit Loop snack packs now, right? Instead of calling it Fruit Loop cereal, it's Fruit Loop snack packs. And they're little bags of Fruit Loops that you can eat. It's still a great product, has been for a long time. They're just enhancing and invigorating, right? To motivate people to make the move. Same thing in your life. There's seven areas that if you can enhance, invigorate, inspire, evaluate, and pour into, if you can focus on those seven areas, you can really level up your life to create new levels of possibility and ultimately increase your ability to make an impact in other people's lives, which is what we're here for. And that's what we talk about in Rise and Grind Elite is basically this, these seven areas. How do we get the scores up in there? So I'm just going to give you some quick, I'm going to run through the seven areas real quick, give you a couple quick tips. And then of course, if you want more, you can always join us in the hashtag Rise and Grind Elite Mastermind Group. We would love to have you. So the first of the seven areas is your, is your money, your finances, man. Look, if, if you're not financially in the position that you want to be in right now, I want you to understand a couple things. I want you to understand, first of all, that there is no shortage of money on this planet. None. And you can have as much of it as you want. Literally, you could go, if money was the ocean, you can go and grab a bucket and pull out as many buckets of money as you wanted, and you would never put a dip in the overall volume of the ocean. That's how much money's out there. If you walk around and you look, if you look around your bedroom right now, or if you look around where you're running right now, if you're outside, or if you look around your gym, I want you to realize that every single thing that you can see cost money has value, right? 
it's everywhere around you. I've got a music switcher here. I've got a Canon, um, you know, video camera right over here. I've got TVs. I've got chalkboards. I've got pieces of chalk, the walls, the drywall, the chair that I sit in, this 900 hat, this desk that this computer is sitting on, all of it, money. There is no shortage. And you can have as much as you want without taking anything from me. You having more does not make it to where I have to have less. And a lot of people miss that. You see, there's no shortage of money in the world. There's only a shortage of money mindset. And so if you want to up your money game, the way that that starts is you've got to start to study money. See, you have to reprogram how you currently think about money. You have to reprogram what you've been told about money. What's up, Shaka Dyson, right? You've got to reprogram that. And so that takes study, right? How do you reprogram, you know, a computer, right? You clear out old files and you put in new ones. That's what you've got to do here. So start studying money. My friend, uh, Ed Milet. Ed Milet was on my show and he talked about this, uh, the, the thermostat. You have an internal thermostat. You have a value that you think you're currently worth. And no matter what happens, right, that thermostat, if you have it set at 85, when, 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 when cold air comes in, uh, you know, it's going to balance it to 85. Hot air comes in, it's going to balance it to 85. Same thing in your life when it comes to your money. Whatever your money mindset is and your belief of your current value, the world, the universe will shift around that to make sure you stay right in that slot. The only way to get out is you got to raise your money mindset educate yourself study money learn about money and you can raise the thermostat the second area is fitness now listen i know people say you know fitness it doesn't have to be fun you just have to do it well you know what i kind of disagree because i've tried that and i don't consistently stay in my routines if i don't enjoy some aspect of it which is difficult because i don't enjoy most of working out like that's not my thing however fitness if you can make it fun changes everything you see you can make fitness fun by doing it with other friends you can make fitness fun by joining groups of fitness people like you see the crossfitters out there flipping tires and they're killing themselves but they're actually having fun because they're building bonds and relationships you can make fitness fun by taking it outside, going for a run. I remember talking to or watching a thing at um, the Hilton. I think I was staying at the Hilton and the woman on the screen, she's run all over the world. And she was talking about how running takes her places. She loves to run because it takes her places. She gets to see the city. She gets to people watch. She gets to see the sunrise. She gets to see different environments, right? So that's what she loves. That's she enjoys the fact that running takes her somewhere. Other people can enjoy the group aspect of it. Other people just enjoy the peacefulness and the time that you get to spend in your own minds. You just got to figure out how to make it enjoyable. Then when it's fun and enjoyable, it's easier to raise your fitness level. The third area that you need to look at is your faith. You see, it's super important. My life changed when I went from living a 2D life to a 3D life. Two-dimensional was mind and body. If it looked good and it felt good, I was in. Three-dimensional, mind, body, spirit, you gotta make sure that you serve your, your, your spiritual side, the third dimension of yourself. And the way that you can serve the third dimension of yourself is by serving others. We have a lot of members of the Rise and Grind group, including our grinder of the week, Annalise Miller right here. Annalise is 10 years old and she has put together an entire, uh, uh, um, uh, she is serving the homeless veterans in the North Carolina area. She's giving them blessing backpacks. She's packed like over a hundred backpacks for homeless people down there. She's doing amazing things. And this is the key, man. Rise and grinders across the country. I see you guys doing it all of the time, right? We serve other humans. So if you're struggling in the faith area a little bit, right? Maybe you need a little tweak on that. Maybe you need to increase on the volume. Let me suggest two things. One, you need to study your faith, right? Spend more time in that area. 
study that faith, whatever that looks like for you. Spend more time there so we can reprogram, enhance, level up what we focus on, right? What we focus on changes and then serve others. Serve others as much as humanly possible to increase that connection. All right. Number four area is your family, right? You've got to take a look at that family aspect of your life. And here's what I want to challenge you when it comes to family. I want you to throw the golden rule out the window. The golden rule states, treat other people the way that you want to be treated. I want you to throw that out the window when it comes to your family. I want you to treat the members of your family the way they want to be treated. I want you to be selfless. I want you to make sacrifices. Give them what they want. My wife doesn't enjoy the same things that I enjoy. So why would I treat her the way I want to be treated? No, 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 no. I want to treat her the way she wants to be treated. My wife's a homebody. She's an introvert. She likes time at the house. She likes to homeschool her kids. She likes to serve them in that sense, right? So I find ways to serve my wife in the areas that she loves, that she needs. Her love language, not mine. The fifth area you need to take a look at is your career. When it comes to your career, if you're not finding joy and purpose in what you currently do, whoa, thanks for those stars that just hit right there, 1,500 stars, that's what I'm talking about. If you're not finding purpose and joy in your career, which is 80% uh, of Americans hate their job, right? If that's not the case, then look, dude, I know it might be hard and challenging to make a big move. I totally get that. Couldn't be hard and challenging. Josh O did it. The Overfelds did it. Groves have done it. Hayes has done it. I've had to do it, right? And I know how challenging that can be. So here's what I want to challenge you for now. If you can't make that move right now in your career, just maximize your minutes. Make sure that every single moment that you're at work, you max it out. No lollygagging, no messing around, put in the work, max out the minutes. When you go home fulfilled and satisfied, when you know you left it on all on the field, when you go back to your family and you say, I was away from you for 12 hours today and look what I accomplished, you can increase the affinity that you have for your career if you just make sure to maximize your minutes. The sixth area is your social life. Now this can get really tough, finding time to spend with friends in between, doing things with our family, work, all the things that we've got going on in our world. It can be tough to, to find time for that social life. But I'm here to tell you, you've got, it's, it's so incredibly important that you have a network of friends it's so incredibly important that you have people that you can share your ideas with, people that can encourage you, people that can lift you up. It's so crucially important. You have to make it a priority. This is, I got to talk to myself when it comes to this one. I get so caught up, man. I'm working. I got a big family. Sometimes I, I, I miss that key component. So this past Sunday, I made the time. I went golfing with my buddy Cody, Cody Whaley. And man, it was refreshing. Just some guy time to be able to talk through some things, right? I talked to my best friend James Sims in Arizona yesterday for like 20 minutes, man. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. But social life is a key area. If you have all the other key areas rocking and your social life is on the zero, you can be lacking that hole, that void can sometimes get filled with bad things like drinking or drugging or, you know, the, 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 the devil's in the downtime. So make sure that you're focused on that key area, core circle of friends that you pour into them and they pour into you. The seventh area that you need to look at is yourself. You see, you need to find beauty in everything you see when you look in the mirror because you're an amazing human being. You are. You're an amazing human being, uniquely made by the God of the universe, right? The God that, that made everything, made you to be the, the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And there was no mistakes when he made you. There was no mistakes. He made you perfectly. You are so incredibly beautiful. You add so much value to this planet. And I need you. I shouldn't say I need you. You need to be able to see that about yourself because it's real. 
it's true. What you have in you is different than what I have in me. And your ability to make an impact in other people's lives is powerful. You showing up here today, powerful in my life, right? You hitting those share buttons, powerful in other people's lives. It makes an impact. So I am so thankful for you. And I hope you are thankful for you too, because you're an amazing human being. Listen, those are seven quick areas. We covered that in 10 minutes. Super, super quick, right? Finances, fitness, faith, family, your career, your social life, and your vision, your value of yourself. Take a look at all those areas. These are the things that we focus on together in hashtag rise and grind elite. So if you want to come join me, go there now. Go to riseandgrindelite.com. We meet twice a week. We meet at 6.30 in the morning on Mondays. We also meet at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesdays. And we just focus on these seven areas. And if you want a little bit of an idea of what it looks like, here's a clip. Now, Carol might get mad at me because Carol's a real professional speaker. And so I know Carol, like, see, I'm not a professional. Anytime I speak on stage, I do the same thing. I have my guardrails and I have my themes, but I always end up putting my presentation together like day of or day before. <laughs> so but, a little bit different strategy for different people. So does that mean then um, you never practice your talk? So my question, like, do you ever practice your talk? I, I don't think, really. Okay. And then, uh, but how about in the beginning? Can you think back to in the beginning when you first started it? Did you, because in the beginning, I'm thinking back to in the beginning when I would first start like yeah. speaking in front of people. Um, like in I the beginning, I tried to memorize every line. You try to memorize, but now because you, it becomes, it is who you are. You no longer have to memorize every single line. That's right. Plus, I, I, me I memorized every line and I was at Carter Myers Automotive and I was doing a presentation for an entire team and I yes. forgot a word mm -hmm. and I got so stuck mentally trying yes. to find that word. I was just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I even looked over at my wife. I'm like, what's the word? And my wife's like, I don't know. I don't know your presentation. And so after that point, I realized like people don't need perfection. People don't need every word to be spot on what people need is your heart yes mm -hmm. so sometimes we can get caught up in the logistics when really we just got to share that message so that'll give you an idea of what it looks like man we just get together and we have conversations that was terry collins asking me some questions we go back and forth we have conversations it's very candid it's very raw and we share a lot of personal um, experiences and we ask people ask questions about their career about money about fitness all those different areas so if you want to come join us i'd love to have you hashtag rise and grind elite otherwise get out there focus on those seven areas rebrand yourself revitalize invigorate all of those different things Things. Come back here tomorrow with Heather Parody on hashtag Rise and Grind. And then Friday, my man Alex Flores is going to be joining us at 5.30 a.m. I'll be coming live from Florida on Friday morning. Listen, if you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. Also, those of you that are listening on the podcast, thank you again. You can always come watch at Official Glenn Lundy on Facebook if you want to see the pictures and the videos and all those things that go along with our show you can do that on facebook and those of you that are on facebook go download the podcast even if you're not like a big podcast person it helps it helps me and i love that <laughs> i'll help you you help me listen go have an incredible day i absolutely stinking love you get out there and kill it sorry for running a few minutes late but hey we had a lot to do today all right sometimes we gotta go a little over i'll see you guys later CMA Day. See ya.